工啊，加工拖起无也好紧啊，总惊加补好好老公啊。And thank you so much to the two artisans. Hello, everyone. This is Lucy, and welcome to a very special live stream by Incredible Young Talents, brought to you by CGTN. And we are here in Fujian, Southeast China, a coastal province. I've taken you all over Fujian to see the incredible Southern Shaolin Kung Fu little students, and we have seen already the b-boys and b-girls break dances and here I want to take you deep into the culture in the local area check it out you've already seen in our amazing drone footage that all of these beautiful structure beautiful buildings they are very special they inscribed in the UNESCO World Heritage in 2013 and 2008 however what are they I'll tell you three things about them and you have to remember but before that this is a live stream today it is a beautiful Tuesday afternoon in Fujian in China the sun is shining birds are singing our artists are singing and I can see all of your comments live I can already see so many people say it's wonderful and it's beautiful and remember to in to describe and comment in our live stream so I can see all of your comments all right three things I want you to know about this this is called Tu Lo if you don't speak Mandarin remember to spell it as T-U-L-O-U Tu Lo the name is Tu Lo and you can translate it in English called Earth Buildings Earth Buildings the reason is because this Tu Lo is made with the local soil and the second thing I want you to remember is that this Tu Lo they are made with the ancient Chinese philosophy in mind in ancient philosophy we have five elements the first one is fire second one is water and another one is gold and another one is also um, earth and in these five elements we have some really cool yin and yang or tai chi philosophy going on and I will be telling you later on when we get there and the third one I want you to remember is that these two low or earth buildings are made by a very special group of people called Hakka people what is the story behind the Hakka people they are a group of Han people but why are they called Hakka I will tell you as well but right now you can already see that there are people walking around in these earth buildings they are like a UFO or mushroom shooting from the earth and there's nothing you can see from anywhere else in the world only here in southeast part of China you can see that people are hanging their clothes they're eating they're hanging out inside but we can't see really clearly here so I have decided to treat you with this very special live stream we are going to move away from this platform and we are going to get into a little minivan in the minivan it takes about two minutes 
to drive us all the way down there inside the beautiful terrace fields and we are going to go inside these two low buildings to have a look once and for all how are these buildings made why are they making them and what are current life like inside there once again my name is lucy and this series is called incredible young talents remember to support us remember to give us lots of comments and remember to share this live stream as much as you can these are our teachers right there 再见谢谢您老师 thank you so much to the singers who gave us such a wonderful performance and i want to tell you that the singing that they just did is called Ke Jia Shan Ge, or in English Hakka Mountain Songs. And the reason it's called a mountain song is because back then the Hakka people they walk around and they plot the field on the mountains and they chop some firewood to go home to sleep and to use the wood to cook. So these are songs that they would stand on top of each mountain and they will shout to each other, they will sing to each other and that is the way they find their mate for life. So we're really lucky to hear the song as well. And at the same time, leave in the comment box if you can hear me really well and if you can see me really well because this is a live stream. Everything is happening in real time. So sometimes my mic could be a little bit um, bust, sometimes the image might be a little bit blurry but this is because we are actually live and you can see there's so many people already here seeing the beautiful places so they're all coming to see to low the earth buildings because this place after being inscribed in the UNESCO World Heritage buildings they are already they have already been developed as some, type, some kind of, let me close the door first, guys, it's quite heavy. All right, and just hold one second, let me put my seatbelt on because, like I said before, we are in deep in the mountains in Fujian. So now we are going on about two minutes, only two minutes of a quick drive on the mountain road and we are going to see on this side remember to check out this side on this side in a minute you will see the close-up of the Tulo the earth building the UFO like buildings and you will see the close-up of terrace field all right let me see some of your comments so far maybe my face is not really bright but I'm just going to talk to you like this so you can see me better all right I can see um, Roger that says Chinese culture introduction. Thank you so much. I'm going to of course introduce you to a lot of Chinese culture in this place and I can see wow so many of you are leaving some comments. Thank you so much. Um, and I can see uh, Ali said I have been here in 2015. Wow. How was your experience when you visited the Nanjing Earth Building, Nanjing Tulo and what was sort of the opportunity that brought you here? Let me know please Ali. And uh, I have Koshio who said, wow, that is awesome. Thank you so much. I do think that the Earth Building is amazing as well. And we also have uh, Amir Moon says, very impressive. Thank you so much. I think that is really impressive as well. So at the same time, when you are leaving me comments, I want you to also, if you can help me think about if in your own country or if in your own culture, you guys have indigenous buildings originally designed buildings by the local people that looks a little bit like the Tulo, like the earth building that is run like that. All right, so now as we are going down around the mountain road, I will also tell you a little bit about the cluster of Tulo and their story. So the cluster of Tulo, you can see there were five all together, but there were about four round ones and there's one square one in the middle and there's something to say about it. However, our car is turning around on like an L-shaped circle and ta-da! Right here, we can already see a little bit of the rice terrace fields and we're approaching the earth buildings and you can see the mountain top. We are inside a mountain. So, the story about four round buildings and one square one is 
In Mandarin, there's a philosophy that we say Tian Yuan Di Fang. So the ancient people, before they had a lot of signs, they thought that the sky is round and the earth is square, and that is why they built the buildings like this. Hmm, 师傅可以快一点 I'm going to tell the. I was telling the driver to drive a little bit fast because I am really eager to take you to the actual Tulo inside. But right now you can still see we have a lot of tropical trees, broad leaves, really pretty. And it is 2 p.m. in the afternoon in China, so the sun is shining bright as well. What is the time in your local area? Let me know as well. It is, is it Tuesday? Is it afternoon? Is the weather hot, sunny, rainy, or is it dry? Let me know in the comment section as well. Once again, once again, my name is Lucy, and today our series is the last special live stream in Fujian with the incredible young talents. So please remember to like, share, and comment at the same time. Now the car is going a little bit slow because. This place, the Earth Building area, the Earth Building cluster, has been described,、uh, has been developed into a tourism area. That's why there's so many cars right here, so many visitors. There are、uh, the business is actually quite good, even after the pandemic. However, if your ancestral home has been developed into a place people can visit, will it be affecting your actual everyday life? That is a mystery that we are going to go find out as well. Thank you so much. The door automatically opens, and tada, guys! We are already here. Thank you so much for staying with me in the car for two minutes. Thank you. And now we have already arrived to the Earth Building, and right here on my right, your left, is already the first Earth Building. This is the building called Zheng Chang Lou. The three character means prosperity and also development. The building is named in this way, and you can see the roof of the building is made with tiles and also wood. Back in the days, it was all put together by people by hand, and here you can see it has multiple different levels. This level, the top level, has some Windows because the first level is the place people sleep. That's why they have windows. And then when you look down, there are smaller windows, a little bit like a small matchbox. Because these windows are where people cook. I will take you inside when the opportunity strikes, and you will see what happens inside. And you can see also the. Outside of the Tulo building, all the Earth building really looks like the color of the Earth. It is really sort of yellowish brown, and it looks very much undecorated. You can't imagine our modern home looks like this. So this is the Tulo building, the first one, the first round one. And today I'm going to take you into three different Tulo buildings, different Tulo Earth buildings, for you to see the differences and for you to, in this one-hour live stream, understand everything. Oh, but now I can hear some music. What's happening over here? Oh, nice! Wow! Rainbow ribbons. Beautiful. Nice music too. With the earth building as background, what a special stage! Looks like two puppets on the hand. Beautiful camera work by our camera people as well. Also remember to give us a lot of likes for the hard work by the camera people. Look at these hand puppets; they turn around like actual goddesses. Beautiful! Whoa! And now we have three guys in white shirts. 
and you can see two on the sides. They're holding a plate. And the one in the middle is like playing with a staff. Maybe Kung Fu monk too. Really nice close up by the camera. Princess, really nice, thank you. And we have our Ra Wang said, I'm from Thai, I'm from Thailand. Thank you. Do you have this type of performance in Thailand? Please let me know as well. Very nice, everyone. Wow, 谢谢老师们. thank you so much. And that was such a good performance, everyone. And I'm already in front of the Zhengchang Lou, the first two Lou building that I want to show you. But first of all, let's have a look at the beautiful goddesses. 老师,请问这是一个什么表演? 这个是掌上木偶,是长筹的。长筹,我和观众说一下. So guys, this is 长筹,掌上木偶, or hand puppet, 这是我们当地的一个艺术形式吗? 对. Oh, so this is from locally, and you can see that this goddess, her, uh, her face, everything is really, really realistic, and the flying string is really beautiful as well. 这个,老师,谢谢你的表演,今天非常精彩,谢谢两位老师。要不要体验一下?哦,好的。我讲到了,是。So,这边弄好。好。就是手指是头啊,庄子是右手啊,这个是左手 哦,哦,谢谢 大拇指,大拇指,对 哦,看到了,好 Wow, so I'm so lucky everyone In front of the beautiful Tulo building I am trying the local drama of hand puppet And I think I, I will say a good um, happiness to everyone. Hope you have a great life and I will hug you. Give me a hug. Oh, thank you, teacher. I'm very Thank you so much. Let you rest. Thank you so much for, for this artisans. I know that this is a beautiful drama and I can see you already gave you, me a lot of great comments uh, complimenting the drama. But I also want to show you the main character of today which is the two low buildings. Have a look right here. When you go up this way, you can see that these buildings are really built very much like a fortress. They are windproof and also earthquake proof. Each one of these wall is one meter long, as thick as my arm, very thick walls, because outside it is a really safe places. And now guys, we have an opportunity to go inside these buildings. Are you excited? I am. Let's go. <laughs> Guys, this is inside the two low building. Wow, look at this one. I have to tell you, outside was so, so warm. I was really hot and my forehead is um, already a little bit sunburned. But inside the building, you can see, because the roof is a round circle, so half of the center inside Tulo is already in shade. And I don't feel really hot at all. And this is another amazing architectural feature of the Earth Building or Tulo. It is Dong which means in winter time it is a little bit uh, warm because all of the warm wind is enclosed inside very nice ventilation and in summertime it is a little bit cooler because the air can evaporate from the center and just go outside. Now this building as you can see is a round structure and it is about three meters. Uh, three levels, one, two, three, you can see three levels. What about the three levels? I will tell you later on. And in this one, it has about 22 households. Each level or each strip going upwards is a household. Okay, so guys, now please give me a comment and let me know how do you like this too low? How do you like the inside of it? And what do you think of the design? Let me know in the comment section. I do have to tell you though, this too low, is not the most authentic one. It is a little bit commercialized. 
but not in a bad way. It is a little bit commercialized because the people who are living here used to be only an agriculture group of people. They survive on agriculture and they do not make any extra income. However, after it's been found by um, UNESCO as a beautiful place and an intangible cultural heritage, people now becoming uh, very smart and using this place as a way of a place to make tourism and also they start to put one to two restaurants over there. That is why this one inside is a little bit commercialized um, because they need to move with time and also at the same time try to keep their tradition going. So next one I will show you one that is more authentic and more with the original residents. All right, now let me take a break and sh look at your comments. We have our Ravan says, I have seen this in TV. That's amazing. Too low or earth buildings have been on TV many times. Let's go downhill this way. So guys, this is another building I will take you to. That is the oval shaped building that is a little bit bigger than any of the other ones inside this cluster. Let's go and have a look. And I have Sami, Sa, Salim says, this looks very nice. We have also uh, people asking how many families inside? That is a very good question and remember to give me more questions like this. This one we saw just now Zheng Changlou, the building of prosperity, it has about 22 families still living inside. And we have people saying, I love Chinese movies, thank you so much. If you have watched um, some Chinese movies, you can see uh, some settings are inside the Tu Lou as well. Let's keep going. Hey, Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're in the house. Hello, hello. 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 Hello, Grandma, Grandpa, they are the local farmers right here and they're the people who are still living inside the Tu Lou, inside this building and they have some restaurants of their own. These are some red mushrooms that they have dried from local places. Yeah, yeah, you this tree is from where? From the tree? From the tree? From the tree. Oh, from the tree. So he said that these mushrooms, um, he actually, he actually um, uh, caught from the local mountains and they dry it as something you can take home and make some delicious food yourself. Let's keep going. So we're going this way. Wow, so guys. You can see this is the actual name of this pit over here, Tian Luo Ken. And if you translate it into English, it means snail pit, snail pit, Tu Lou cluster. If you want to know more about this area, you can put snail pit inside the uh, your check your your search engine, and you can find it. I have a story about snail pit. So once upon a time, there is. There is um, a boy whose name is Wang, W-O-N-G, Wang, or in Chinese, Huang. And this boy, he came to this area and then he met a little snail that was damaged. So he saved the snail and put it in the safe place. But the snail turned into a beautiful girl and they fall in love and got married and that is where they set their family home and this is the legend of the snail pit cluster of Tu Lou. And you can see just now I was saying that all of the mushrooms and vegetables are grown by the people locally and they are a very self-sufficient group of people from generations ago till now. And I can see right here they have a little uh, melon here too, let me see. Mm. It sounds pretty ripe and maybe some lucky people will be eating the fresh melon today and we're going to slowly go to inside the beautiful terrace buildings. I don't know if you can see right here, we have one auntie and looks like she has harvested 
some doesn't look like potato, but like uh, a local yam. Y a m yam is a type of local um, sort of root vegetable, and he she is taking this. I don't know whether to sell it or to have for food herself. I guess have for food herself. All right. So let me quickly check your comments and see who is here with me watching. We have、um, Bondiano. Bondiento says、um, it is a beautiful place. Thank you so much. It is so beautiful. We have some dragonflies flying and also some butterflies on my surroundings. And these are some winter melons over here as well. Beautiful rice buildings. Remember to. Um, take some screenshots. It is the best time to do so.、Um, right now, it is September, late September in China. So these terrace buildings, they are already a little bit yellow. It's almost some har- harvest time. In a few days, it will be our Golden Week, which is National Day holiday, Golden Week. And in during this Golden Week, it will be time for many many visitors to come into this place, and we will have a lot of performances. Speaking of performances, we already have one over there. Look at this. Beautiful. What is this? Another puppet. Thank you so much. And guys, this is really, really cute. And I can see that it looks like a, a old, elderly lady because the hair is a little bit gray. 老师，这个是什么呀？这个是媒婆。媒婆。对对对，<笑>专门介绍美女给帅哥的。<笑><笑>谢谢。那我可以请他帮帮我。<笑><笑>可以可以。So guys, 只要那帅哥美女都可以叫我来介绍。<笑><笑>谢谢你。呃、uh, ，So guys, um, ah,、uh, 我跟观众解释一下这个。Uh, This is actually a matchmaker in the ancient Chinese. Is culture, and she used the hand puppet to、uh, make it as well. And today, as you can already see the pattern, today's show is about an introduction about the earth building, and also an introduction about the local、um, beautiful culture, intangible culture as well. 那老师再见，谢谢你，谢谢，谢谢，再见，拜拜， so nice， 拜拜。I love it. I love her、uh, red skirt. Uh, sorry, red top. Um, and as the green terrace building,、uh, terrace fields as background, it is just such a sight to see. Oh, and guys, here I can see a little melon. It's such a very nice place. Everything is self-sufficient, and also they use tourism. They open their homes for us to see. How they used to live back 3,000, 300 years ago, and it is a really sustainable way of having a local tourism. So I will tell you a little bit about the terrace buildings, the terrace floors, or terrace terrace floors. Pardon me. And this is really.、Um, Very sort of popular or often seen in southeast part of China. In southeast part of China, these terrace buildings mostly grow rice because the temperature here is quite warm and humid, and also the field is really wide. However, when people get here, it is、um, a quite mountainous. So it's a little bit hard to have a flat type of field for some、um, plodding. So they have carved the mountain onto one level of fields after another, and that is how they already have the terrace fields like this. So hard work will finally pay out. All of their hard work before the terrace fields. 
before it was only a way for them to grow their crops, only a way for them to feed the whole family, but now it is a place for us to take photos, enjoy the beautiful scenery. If you agree with me, remember to leave a comment in the comment section and let me know. So this is the living situation before, on here is where they get their food and on here is where they live. So let's go up and have a look at the secret inside the biggest earth building inside this cluster. Okay, I'm going to now have a look at your comment. We have Tatanda said it looks good. Thank you so much. I think it looks amazing as well. We have Tan Hong says beautiful puppet show. Thank you so much. It is very beautiful and I am really happy that we get to show you this as well. We have Harish says it's beautiful. Thank you very much. And I'm really happy with my outfit today. It is a traditional Chinese qi pao and I think it might go well with the earth building as well because everything is handmade. All right. Now, this building, like I said, is the biggest one in the whole cluster and the reason it's really big is because it has a bigger platform for us to build a bigger building. But you can see the view is just so amazing here. It is on the mountain top and from here I will give you a place to get the best shot of the terrace field. I think the best photo point is about over here. So from here, you can see the whole of the terrace building or in Mandarin Titian, it is just a place you can put in any postcards. Deep in the mountains, green and yellow rice, rice uh, terrace field, red lanterns, and very peaceful life. All right, now, looks like today we have the whole Tulo building to ourselves. It is really quiet outside, and this one is called Wen Chang Lo. The first one, Zheng Chang, Prosperity and Development. This one, Wen Chang, Wen Chang Mo means more of scholarly scholarship because the people of the Wong family that I told you about, they not only want their offsprings to be prosperous, but they also want their offspring to be very much literate and reading a lot of books and be very smart and intellectual. So on the top, you can see this red flag and the Chinese word Bai Nian Hao He, Yong Jie Tong Xin, they're not always here. They're here because inside this Tulo, they just had a wedding. Um, so young people here, even though they go outside to work and go to the offices sometimes to have a different type of job, not really in here doing agriculture anymore. However, this Tulo, all the Hakka people, they still remember their tradition really well. And when they have a wedding or when they have a festival, they always come back to their ancestral home to celebrate it. Let's go inside and see. Whoa, looks like we have another type of celebration going on in here. Let's go have a look. Whoa, this looks like a very different type of performance. A lion, I think. And it's still a puppet performance. Whoa, another person. It's a lion performance, but the lion is still operated by hand. Wonderful. And the guy looks like a joker, joking around, teasing the lion. Thank you. It's a picturesque countryside. You look like you need some water. Yes, indeed, I did need some water. Wow. 
Wow, and he's upside down. 老师们太棒了，我们还有其他的木偶吗？可以上来一起看一下。Wow, look at that. We have new people coming in. Not people, but puppets. Look so amazing. So the four wearing blue, orange, red, and pink. Ah. 谢谢老师，谢谢老师，他们的活动好灵活呀。请问这个是当地的一种什么艺术形式呢？这个是我们的国家级非物质文化遗产——嗯，提线木偶。提线木偶。提线木偶。哦，您贵姓？啊，我姓杨。杨 ，So this is Miss Yang, and Miss Yang told me that this is called string puppets, different from the hand puppets you saw just now. This is string puppets, and it is also a um national level intangible world heritage. And 这是什一个什么故事啊，老师？呃，今天是爸爸妈妈的生日，我们兄弟姐妹几个就是相约一起回老家，回土楼这边给他们祝寿。来土楼这边。对。哦，谢谢老师，我和大家说一下。So this is about four siblings coming back to the 土楼 Earth Building to celebrate parents' birthday. That looks really good as well. So it also shows that. In our Chinese culture, we always remember to come back to celebrate parents' birthday, and it's something that we remember very dearly to respect our parents. His movement is very nice. Can I try it? Okay, come, come, come. So, use these two hands. So I pull. Then I use this hand to pull it down. Pull it down. Pull it down. So I try to turn around. Don't hit your head. Just a little bit. Very nice. 哦、oh, ，很棒，谢谢。那再见怎么怎么做？ Uh, 再见，我们就是行个礼。行，哦、uh, oh, ，行个礼。行个礼。哦、uh, oh, ，the way I bow to say goodbye to you、uh,。那老师，我也跟您说再见，谢谢。Uh, 今天表演的非常棒 ，Thank you so much.、Uh, Thank you. So I will say， 一起跟那个镜头说个再见吧。好、uh, uh, ，再见。再见。So I will say goodbye. To these artisans, and I also want to say goodbye to this beautiful performance. Okay, guys, just now you saw some wonderful performance, and I can see Yong saying thank you for showing the culture things, heritage that we need to preserve. You hit the nail on the head, sir. This is the reason we're doing this live stream because we have tangible culture heritage, which is this Tulo right here, Earth Building. They're tangible. You can see them. You can touch them. We need to protect them, and we also have. Intangible to cultural heritage, which is like those singing and these、um, beautiful puppets, we need to protect them as well. And and now, I have something that I really want to show you. You already see this tulo. However, you must be wondering how is the actual living condition. Usually, we don't get to go to the second or the third floor because this tulo is a place people actually live. We can't go into their homes to、uh, disturb their,、uh, uh, their privacy. However, today, because it's a special, incredible young talents live stream, I have gotten the opportunity to take you to the second floor. So let's go and have a look. So, guys, this is the first floor, and usually it is. A kitchen. You can see this is some water tunnel system that they have built that they can still use after 300 years. And because this is water, so this is dining room or kitchen. It is close to water and easy to wash. Remember, guys, an exclusive opportunity brought to you by CGTN to see inside the buildings of Tulo. That is so very cool. I'm so happy to see that. Can you see? So they usually do their washing here, and they have their、uh, cooking right here as well. You can see this is. Uh, something they used to cook inside this too low building because of fire hazard. They only have one door, so we don't use fire to cook. We only use electricity electricity to cook. Let's keep going. 奶奶你好。<laughs> so we go up this way. You can see that it says staff only, but we got the opportunity to go up. So I'm going to go up this way. Please follow me to discover the secret of the second floor. Let's go. 
you can see here it is the original wood thing and say elders and sisters. Thank you so much. Guys, ta da This is the second floor of the Tulo building. Imagine three years ago you are a person of the Huang family. And you come and stay inside the Tulo with all of your family. Your aunt People under the same roof, you have for clover, some sugar, give me some, some salt, and this is the shadow. And you can see my face better, and I can tell you more about the two low building. All right, so we can go here this way. You can see that every Tulo building is a living fossil of Chinese culture. We have He Jia Ping An family safe in the same roof uh, put in the middle. And then the two couplets also is very lucky say saying. I'm really happy to be here and see how Chinese culture, Chinese philosophy, and everything that make us who we are is right here. And you can see it with our own eyes. All right, um, we just quickly show you that this is a well in the center of the building. Back then, it's really well designed, symmetrical, and it's like an orange. You peel off one part, and one part is uh, still in line with another. And in the center is the fountain of life, water. The water well is still in use. And I can see that um, oh, our event said my mom is also watching. Thank you so much for bringing your mom to watch. It's, and to be honest, in Thailand, maybe you see some Chinese uh, ancestors or Chinese um, sort of offsprings, and their last name is Wong, W-O-N-G. And maybe their ancestors used to live in this too low building. So let's keep going. And I want to tell you, the general history of the Tulo building, or the, um, what do you call it, or the, the earth buildings. So the earth building, this one, the oldest one is built about 300, 300 years ago. You can see grandma, 奶奶, so you can see grandma is here making some bamboo fence, really pretty as well. And we can keep going. Now, remember guys to like, share, and comment this live stream brought to you by Incredible Young Talents. Incredible Young Talents is a series that we go around China searching for young people who possess or after years of practice have um, gotten some incredible talents. And we have already gone to Zhejiang province where we see people who are very good with soccer, little soccer boy, and we have seen people who are very good at climbing. We have rock climbing uh, genius. And here in Fujian is our second trip inside Incredible Young Talents. In our second trip, we have already interviewed some Kung Fu students who are really young, but really good with Kung Fu and preserving the culture. And also we have seen some break dancers who have um, brought in some foreign sort of uh, art, but they have learned it really well in incorporating local tradition as well. Today, this 
live stream is not just about talented people, but about local culture, how these talents have developed from the local place, what culture was the background and the motivation. So remember to support incredible young talents. Let's go up this way. When we go up this way, I want to show you that some of the buildings already have holes on the wall and um, the oldest building was built 300 years ago. This one was built only about 50 years ago because the Wang family, when they come and settle in the, this pit, snail pit, they first had little bit of people and then they keep growing, keep growing. So the buildings gone from one village, one Tulo building to five altogether. And some of the Tulo building dotted around southeast China have already withstand war. So some had some gun holes on it um, because this building back in the days, um, different sort of clans might have a little fight with each other over food or resource. And this building is also built as a fortress to protect the people who are living inside. All right, and now I want to tell you that we have a little bit of an upward trip. The reason we have a little bit of an upward trip is because this building, too low, or earth building, I was telling you that it was set inside the mountains. And that is why we take our time, we walk up the stairs, and we enjoy a little bit of a workout. You can see these beautiful yellow flowers here, and here, and actually this building to my right, it is not an original Tulo earth building, but it is another building built by uh, the local art school for people to come and draw Tulo and do sketch about Tulo. Let's keep going. So let me read your comments and see how you're going. Um, Ten said, Young talent, keep it going. Thank you so much. It is an amazing thing for you to say, and thank you for your encouragement. We will keep young talent going, and you can see here, they always dry some local vegetables so that they can use later on. This is Fujian province in China, and it is in the south part of China, so the weather is really good. You can wear short sleeves for 10 months of the whole year. 奶奶,我们又来了。我们又来了。For <laughs> 10 months of the whole year. And 您辛苦了。Bye,bye,bye,bye. Um, so we have um, also grandma, grandpa living here. You might be wondering, why are there a lot of grandma, grandpas, or older people living in this village? We have another stairs we're going to go up. And the reason is because after this village has gone from agriculture to uh, tourism, young people have mostly left the ancestral home like many other places in the world. In the economic development, um, older people have stayed in their homes to preserve the tradition and younger people go outside to promote their places. I have a story, and it is actually about Thailand, if you're watching from Thailand. Um, I heard that a Chinese migrant in Thailand, and that he was originally grow, uh, from this Tulo area. But when people ask him before, where are you from? He usually say, I'm from Fujian, because no one before the UNESCO or before intangible cultural heritage, no one knew about Tulo. So he only said, I'm from Fujian because this province is famous. But now after China and the local government spend a lot of efforts and um, resources to promote this place, Tulo became world famous. A lot of my international friends also want to come and visit here. And he really proudly say now in Thailand, whenever people ask, where are you from? He says, I'm from Tulo, this is my home. And this is some really encouraging story that I heard when I was doing the research and I thought that I would share it with you. All right, guys, now we are coming to our last stop of today the earth building tour. From here it is sort of like a high point that you can see this 
was the building, the Wen Chang Lou building that we saw before, the round one, and it's just been standing here after 300 years with standing storm weather, um, dry season, hot season, uh, different changes of um, the world and it's still standing here witnessing the development of our lives. And this, these ones are the smaller ones, but you can see high on the mountain top we have some feng che or windmill that is um, the symbol of the modern life. <coughs> Pardon me. So you can see that these um, windmills, they are a symbol of the um, sustainable energy and um, now, Tulu has entered 21st century, Tulu has entered 2022. Things are different, but still the same. Let's keep going. All right, so here you can see they dry some bananas over here and they dry some uh, orange peel. And also, they dry some hulu right here too. All um, is a reflection of the older lifestyle. Okay guys, so this is the last stop. This is the oldest building of Tulo, or the oldest building of the earth building. This one is not a round one. The symbol of Tulo is a round enclosed structure built by the Hakka people to withstand time and earthquakes so the whole family can stay together. But this one is a square one and it's normal to see as well. The square one means Di Fang, the earth is square. Let's come inside. <laughs> so you can see, I don't know if it's clear, but the door is really they only have one door, so the door has to be really well uh, guarded. But I can hear some music again. Of course, we arranged it for you. Let's go have a look. Wow, how bang, Shifu. Whoa! What a nice teapot! Nice spinning as well! Wow! Great way to see some local tea culture! Wow, wow, that's a power move. Nice power move. Beautiful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Oh, can I drink a little? Oh, I really want to drink a little. Some tea for you guys. Cheers. Hmm. It's very nice local tea, a little bit brown, sort of like an amber color. And Fujian is also very famous for its red tea as well. Shifu, you can go with me. What did you do this time? This is a Xianglong 18th茶艺表演. Oh, so uh, this is a tea ceremony, tea performance. And it's uh, uh, a little bit to do with Kung Fu as well. 18 different moves. Then you have a big move, you can take it down, right? Yes, yes, yes. Is that very difficult to learn? Yes, yes, yes. Is that very difficult to learn? Yes, yes, yes. Can you teach me a bit more difficult move? Yes, we'll give you a big move. Yes, good. Here, this move is a big move. Yes, good. Oh, so I, I, I hold it like this, and so I have a teapot on my back, and then I'm going to, 我就开始倒是吗? Ah! Nice! Yay, guys! <laughs> 哎, 
我到的还不是特别好。没事没事。So the angle is not the best, but oh, 谢谢师傅。你是我的茶艺师傅。谢谢。So this is my tea art performance teacher, and in the incredible Young Talent series, after following this series, I have learned so many things. 谢谢老师，谢谢。Okay, so let's go and have a look at um this tool. This tool is a square structure on the top, so you can see all of the inside is already very dark and in shade. And that is what I said. Really, really genius architecture design. Three hundred years ago, it's already some type of shade. That when the outside was so shi so sunny, inside it's already、um, somewhere you can go away from the sun and protect your beautiful skin. So we have a home giving us claps. Thank you so much. And we have people asking, what's the name of the music?、Mm, I think you can find the name of the music in a, a movie called Shaolin Temple. I'm pre- quite sure it is the music from Shaolin Temple. And also, I just want to quickly tell you about、um, this. On the first floor, it's already been made into a tea shop. But usually, first floor is kitchen. Second floor, I told you. Uh, Second floor, second floor, I told you is storage, 仓库 storage. Third floor is 卧室 or bedroom. So you live on the top, and then you put your storage on the second floor, and then you come to the bottom or the ground floor to cook. If you speak British English, you may get really confused because what is the first floor? What is the ground floor? It's very different in Tulu. And let's come this way. This is a grinder. It's an ancient. It's a grinder that they still kept.、Um, this grinder is something that they use back in the ancient times to grind grind some crop for them to eat in the oldies. And we already have a lot of people watching. And today I am so. Ha- oh, and I think I haven't showed you this. So this is the ancestral temple. It is not a religious temple, but an ancestral temple. You can see the, ri- the, the red sort of、um, couplets. It's all about the people who came to the wedding <laughs> back in the days. All right. Now I am really happy about this one-hour live stream today.、Um, it is a beautiful Tuesday afternoon in China, in tropical Fujian Province. Even though Beijing or anywhere else in China, most、uh, northern part is already in deep autumn. This place is still really warm, and we have been following our incredible young talent series to see the、uh, Tulu Earth Building. And I'm so happy that you got to understand the way that we have to protect both tangible heritage and intangible heritage. The ones we can see and touch, and the ones we cannot see but only hear and、um, can only feel. And I'm going to put my phone away, and、um, I have a last gift for you guys. I have been. Traveling with our crew, and I feel like I have learned something new as well. Tada! This is something new I have learned. Look at this. I have learned how to fly a drone, <laughs> and you might be surprised, but this is the idea of modern meets ancient surroundings. I'm going to fly a drone that is designed in modern. Uh, time inside the 300-year-old Tulu, because in the beginning of this live stream we started with the drone footage, and you got to see what the Tulu is like from above. And I want to end today's live stream also with the drone footage, something that I'm operating on my own, and it's my first time doing it in any、um, of my live streams. Really happy to see it. So. Once again, thank you so much, everyone, for watching it. Thank you so much to our hardworking camera crew working on the back. Remember to give give them a lot of thumbs up. And thank you so much for the wonderful people in Tulu. 谢谢大家 Thank you so much for the wonderful people in Tulu for letting us to come into their homes. And let's see how far I can take you inside Bu Yun Lou. Walking in the clouds, the building is here. Slowly up. Woo! All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and bye bye. See you next time.